Hi YouTube. So today I'm going to talk about how I have gained and lost weight on a vegan diet. Now I'm still on my weight loss journey. Um, I'll get into that a little later. So the first thing is how I gained weight on a vegan diet. And I think this is really important. A lot of people are having this issue with certain programs floating around there on the internet. Um, so for me, the reasons for going vegan were mostly health. Um, a few years ago, I got diagnosed with alpha-gal. Alpha-gal is um, it's kind of like Lyme's disease in the sense that it comes from a tick. Um, but what it does is it causes you to be allergic to mammalian sugars. Um, and they really didn't know a lot about it when I was first diagnosed. Um, I think that was back in like 2011. Um, so anyways, I, I basically started cutting out pork and cutting out beef. And by that time I was pescatarian, so I was just eating like, you know, vegetables, eggs, dairy, and fish. Um, and at first that was working for me, but then probably about a year later, um, I started developing a dairy allergy. Um, I didn't really realize it, but I decided to do like a vegan challenge um, just for fun and see if I could do it. Because I had been vegetarian long enough that I was kind of used to making more unusual foods or using beans and legumes and stuff like that. Because I think it's it's hard to just do it all in one step. So, although I really wasn't planning on going vegan. Um, so I did my 30 day challenge and when I tried to go back to the way I was eating before, um, then I realized I had a full blown dairy allergy. Um, so therefore there was no more of that so um anyways and at the time i was listening to people that were doing fully raw and raw till four and some people were doing gourmet raw and somehow i got it all mangled in my head and i thought okay well i've got to eat all these calories or you know i'm not going to be healthier i'm not going to feel good i'm going to feel tired or i'm going to crave meat which is like i couldn't eat it anyway if i wanted to i mean technically i still could eat like things like um, chicken turkey uh, and fish um but you know it, i by that point i pretty much lost my taste for it anyway um anyway so back on track i'm losing track i'm sorry um so I was packing in all these calories, but not really thinking about the fact that I had a hip injury. Now, I wasn't overweight at this time that I made this transition, um, but I have had this hip injury from just repetitive stress at work because I'm a heavy equipment operator and we take impact a lot on our um, driving foot, you know, on the accelerator pedal but your leg is also stretched out and at the time we had this old machine where the seat didn't move. And so it kind of accentuated that stress constantly um, because, you know, you have to drive into piles to, like, get a scoop. Anyways, I can talk about that in another video, maybe, if somebody's interested. Anyway, so back on track. Um, anyway, so I've had this repetitive hip injury, so I really wasn't able to, like, cycle for, like, hours a day or do anything like that. Um, you know, like, I can walk, and I have walked. And that was fine. I was packing in all these calories and, you know, and I really wasn't losing weight. I wasn't gaining a whole lot quickly, but I, I felt bloated all the time. So it was hard to tell and I wasn't really weighing myself. So I wasn't really keeping track. Um, so, you know, I wasn't just sure if it was like from the bloating or whatever. And then eventually I started weighing myself and realized I had gained probably about almost... I'd say 30 pounds on that style of vegan diet, like where it's high. Well, I wouldn't say high calorie, but like 3,000 calories a day, 200, 200, like 2,500 calories a day where you're, um, you know, eating lots of rice and vegetables and fruit and stuff. And it's very heavy on fruit and smoothies. And that was another thing that didn't really work for me because smoothies, I... I have a smoothie, like it could be a thousand calorie smoothie, and honest to God, I don't feel like I have anything in my stomach, and I could literally just eat another thousand calories of something else. Um, it works for some people, it did not work for me. Um, anyway, so I gained all this weight, and um, I wasn't really sure what to do, and so I started just upping my exercise and as much as I could, but then... The hip injury kind of translated down my legs more and I started spraining my ankles a lot um, and it's just part of the same thing. It's basically the muscle that wraps around is 
stronger than the muscles that go down and it's creating this tension but I didn't really realize it at the time so I was going to a chiropractor and I was going to physio and I was doing all this not physio sorry I was going for massage therapy and chiro at the time um, physio has worked for me but I'll do that in another video um, anyway so every time I tried to up my exercise I'd sprain my ankle and I'd be right back to square one so any weight I've lost I'd be right back to the beginning again and so finally, um, for, you know, your New Year's resolution this year, 2016, I decided I'm going to lose weight and I'm going to do it really slowly. And I'm not calorie restricting in the sense of volume of food, but I am calorie restricting as far as the foods I eat. Um, so, so far I've lost 25 pounds since... January, so that's eight months. Um, so it's not a fast weight loss, but I wasn't planning on a fast weight loss because I've just been focusing on healing my hip, um, healing my ankles. Um, I also had a pulled Achilles tendon in that space of time too. So it was like I had all this stuff to heal, and I didn't want to push it too hard. So I really did need to adjust what I was eating. So the things I cut out were rice. Um, I cut way down on fruit. I didn't cut it out, but I cut way down on it because fruit is very calorific a lot of it like bananas are very calorie dense so are dates um so I cut way down like I might you know if I had a banana I wouldn't eat four or three I would have one in a day <laughs> you know um other than that I up my greens I up my greens big time um so I would eat usually about a pound pound and a half of greens a day so that's like spinach leafy greens like um like romaine lettuce like um, regular lettuce, although I don't like that as much. Um, the leafy green mix, I eat lots of that. Um, and I started making myself like a cabbage soup, but not cabbage soup like as in the cabbage soup diet, because that's actually a pretty unsatisfying soup in my opinion. Like it's just, it's very bland. Um, so, but I did make a cabbage base every day. So I, I would start with cabbage for the soup and then add other flavors to it. Like it's sometimes I'd even get like, um, flavor packets that were vegan, of course, um, to put in, or miso um, as a base. I'd add some beans to it and add some tofu to it, and you know, just so it's like a little heartier, so it was more satisfying. Um, and then whatever vegetables I could find, which is always like a ton of vegetables, um, like broccoli, cauliflower, zucchini, um, carrots, peppers, and whatnot. And so it's actually a really good soup. And then what I do, um, because I work in the kind of later in the day I work 11 to 7 so I really need to work le eat my lunch and dinner at work um, I just started packing two thermoses um, and sometimes I'd make two separate soups and like have the both you know big bowls of soup in the fridge and I just pull them out heat them up and then put them in the thermos for the day and sometimes I'm fine with just eating the same soup twice um, in the day and then other than that I just pack like Sometimes I make like um, crackers, you know, like um, dehydrator crackers, like with flax base. And, you know, sometimes I'll take nuts to work for um, a snack, like almonds or Brazil nuts. Not a lot of Brazil nuts, maybe one or two. And the rest of almonds or raisins or an apple and an orange. Um, and that's about it. Um, for breakfast, usually either I'll have some soup because I like savory breakfast for the most time, for the most part, or once in a while I'll have cereal. Um, but really my calories, um, all said and done are probably about 1500 a day. Sometimes I exceed it. Sometimes I don't. If I'm hungry, I eat. Uh, there's no way that I'm going to starve myself again. And I don't care how long it takes to take all the weight off. Um, cause you know, health is the most important thing and being as I'm trying to heal injuries, I mean, it's even more important that I get the proper nutrients and I've got to say, I've never felt better in my life. Um, so it's worked out for me. Um, uh, maybe someday when I can actually get my video cameras, you know, hooked up. Well, it's not like it's not, I can hook it up to my computer. It's just, I don't have a, a video editor right now. And the, the sound on my video camera is horrid. Like it's so bad. Um, 
and I really need like a, an editing program so I can maybe just cancel out the sound and then I could show you how I make the suits if you guys are interested anyway if you are if you are if you're not you're not um, I want to try and cover like just a few basic subjects at first and then I'll just expand on them so um, this is kind of gonna be more like the vegan journey series I guess um, and then I'll also go into the IMS which is called intramuscular stimulation and just how it's helped me and and how it can help anybody with chronic pain. Um, it's one of the best things for chronic pain. Um, I'll go into that next time, but like I say, I'm gonna try and keep everything separate. So if you don't wanna watch videos on that, you don't have to, and I'm not gonna talk a lot about it in this one. Um, this was more just an overview as far as um, weight gain and loss on a vegan diet for myself and just what I've done to lose weight um, very easily without feeling hungry um, and also having a proper nutrient balance to my diet so I you know um, I certainly don't want to have any deficiencies um, and other than that um, I do take two supplements right now I'm um, in the winter I take three so I do take b12 every day or you know sometimes I skip like the odd day but for the most part I take b12 every day um, I also take um, a mineral supplement called leaf source which I love um, and then in the winter, I also add in D3, but right now it's not really necessary being as I work outside and I get tons of sun. Um, anyway, so comment or like if you like. <laughs> and uh, if there's anything you want to see in this series, just let me know. I'd be happy to show you. And like I say, eventually, hopefully, I can get my video camera. Well, I can get like a video editor and so I can use my video camera and maybe show you some of the stuff that I make um, and what I take to work and stuff and that type of routine. Anyways, have a great day everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon.